I was watching this video on YouTube uh, from the Linux Experiment channel. It's one of the best channels on Linux, right? And so, you know, one of the segments was um, where it was talking about AMD is teasing some free and open source software work around AI, some work involving AI. And so apparently AMD posted this on Twitter slash X. Open standards, open source, and open ecosystem of innovators. AMD is enabling AI to advance so the world's most important challenges can be solved openly. I think that's key. Absolutely key. And this is a great segment um, by Nick on his channel. Um, he did a great job, right? But then you look into it, right? And you say, okay, yeah, other other sites are talking about that, right? And bringing that up. And so it's kind of like, you know, here we here we go with AI directly on the computer, right? AI directly on the computer. And so if you got, and I'm not saying this is going to happen uh, in the near future, right? But in the near future, what you're going to end up with is you're going to have it, at least on uh, AMD hardware and Intel's undoubtedly work, working on something similar, right? But on AMD hardware, if you got the right graphics card, then AMD graphics card and you got an AMD, um, uh, you know, processor, then that means you will be able to do artificial intelligence directly on the computer, right? You'll be able to do artificial intelligence directly on the computer. So we're going to see, I'm going to predict that we're going to see an oscillation in the tech industry between uh, cloud-based artificial intelligence, which is really good. It's really good. And, you know, this is a great uh, time saver, right? And, you know, the things that have um, come about with these tools um, is wonderful. But there's no doubt there is more that you can do when you have AI running directly on the computer, right? And so, you know, the, the Rockham stack, which if you look into it, Rockham is a, soft, it's a software platform, right, that can tap into AMD graphics hardware as well as CPUs, right? And what that's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to be able to create software, desktop software and browser-based software where you're running right directly in the browser to be able to create new types of processes and process flows and user interfaces and interaction models and back-end systems that are smarter, faster, and smoother than what we've built in the past. So I'm greatly looking forward to that. And... You know, I think that um, all the things that are happening right now around AI and around um, the hardware enablement of AI, because, you know, this is going to actually bring down the cost of AI once um, AMD gets into the picture with their open source uh, stack and the expansion of their software stack to be able to address their CPUs and GPUs with AI capabilities, right? And so that's going to be absolutely awesome uh, to see. And it's going to be a huge advance for us. So we'll have to see what happens. But I'm definitely going to stay t uh, tuned to this. And this has definitely been a moment um, the last couple of uh, months where I've definitely uh, changed my whole viewpoint on software development. And I plan on speaking more about that in the future. But yes, I am definitely um, looking forward to the possibilities that uh, this is enabling, right? And so uh, we'll just have to see what happens, right? But uh, stay tuned. And um, I hope, you th hope this finds you well.